Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to tell you that Miss Marcial is, I think, honestly, I think I was put on this earth. I need to drink a water real quick. I was put on this earth to be a teacher. You want to know why? I can never be a famous YouTuber because I, I literally just filmed the whole lesson for you all and I forgot to share my screen. So now I'm teaching it all over again, which is totally fine, but YouTubers have it hard. Like, how do you know when to do things? Like, Miss Marshall might be going crazy a little bit. All right, but let me share my screen. First things first, let me share my screen. Woo! We're there. We're good. Here's our next phonics lesson for the day, and I hope you're ready. And let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. It will not be as long as yesterday's video. Yay! Okay, so here we are. We're gonna do a game, play a game, all right? So we learned how to blend syllables to say words, right? So for this game, I'm gonna say the syllables, then you're gonna blend the syllables to say the word. But while you do that, you're gonna see what picture it, or you're gonna find the matching number. So, for an example, if I say cactus, what word is it? Now, let's look for the cactus. Oh, I found it. What number is it? It's one. So then you're going to hold up a one. Everyone understand? All right. It's not hard, I promise. It's not hard. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. We're Gucci. We're ready to go. It's Tuesday. Let's get it. Here is the word. Hedgehog. What word is that? Where do you see it? What number? Number four. All right, eraser. Hold up the number, hold up the number. If you had a number three, you were right. Good job. Watermelon. Say the word. And what number is it? Good job. Same thing. Ready? With your little finger, I want you to point to, to the, well, one, I want you to say the word. After I, I'm going to just say the syllables. You're going to say the word, and you're going to point with your little finger where it's at. Ready? Let's go. P pancakes. What word is that? Now point with your little finger where it's at. Mm, it's right there. It's right there. All right. Here's the next one. Ladybug. What word is it? Now point with your little finger. Here it is. Butterfly. What word is that? Bam, we're good. All right. So we've been talking about the k sound, right? So we're talking about sound spellings. That's what we're learning this week. Kangaroo begins with the sound k. And that sound can be spelled in different ways. It can be a K, it can be a C, or it can be a CK. But I want you to know something right here, right now. And if you don't remember anything from this video, that's fine. But I want you to remember this because it's going to help you with your spelling for the rest of your life. You hear the K sound at the beginning of the word. It's either going to be a K or it's going to be a C. But it will never, ever, 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 ever be a CK at the beginning. CK, when it's together like this and it's at the end, it makes the K sound, right? But it will never be at the beginning of a word. C and K together will never be at the beginning of the word. It will always be most likely at the end, okay? So if you're struggling with the word color, it's either going to be a K or a C. If you're struggling and you don't remember, you just got to look at it and you got to say, okay, that K doesn't look like it goes there. We know that color is spelled with a C, but it will never be spelled with the CK. So if you hear the K at the beginning, it's either going to be a K or a, but never a C or a K together. All right, good. Here we go. Pick, pick, pick. Let's do the syllables. It. B -a -t. What word is that? Back. Good job. B -a -t. 
What word is that? Bake. All right, that's the end of my video. I hope you have a wonderful day and um, see you manana. That means tomorrow.